Planet Earth, the entire world, all 13 trillion billion tons of it, is made up of less than 120 chemical elements. These building blocks combine to form all the different chemicals around us, from food and computers, to medicines and cars, even Alicia. It's got to work this time. Hey Alicia, what are you up to? Well, we burn fuel for energy, right? Yeah. But the problem is, burning fuel gives off harmful waste gases. Like carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Exactly. So what if you could burn the fuel and collect the waste gases, stopping them going into the atmosphere? That sounds like a brilliant idea. Then, what if we recycle those waste gases, making them combine into new useful products like plastics, medicine, even back into fuel again? That would be amazing. But does it work? No! I can't get the gases to join back together. Hey, Ken, you want to make molecules react? Yeah. Follow me. Wait a minute. Who are you? I'm Cat. I'm a catalyst. Let me explain. I'm a catalyst, yo, this watch you gotta know. I'm a special ingredient making reactions go. You put me in, new products come out. I bring chemicals together, there ain't no doubt. Unlimited uses, that's the attraction. Catalyst speeds up a chemical reaction. I'm making and breaking chemical bonds. I'm the real deal, not some magic wand. Unlimited uses, that's the attraction. Catalyst speeds up a chemical reaction. Wow, I'm tiny. Where are we? This is the world of the atoms. Those are different types of molecules made up of the chemical elements. They're all grouped together in the bottom of those valleys. That's right. Each type of molecule lives in its own valley. But they're kind of doing nothing. Yeah, they're trapped in the ground state. Nothing reacts down there. It's too low energy. It's my job to help one group of molecules leave their valley and react with this here carbon monoxide. Wait, carbon monoxide, the gas, that's what I'm trying to make- Watch out, cat! I'm back! What just happened? Well, I did what I do. I catalyzed the reaction. Carrying that molecule out of the valley and joining on the carbon monoxide. It wouldn't have happened without me. Cat, you're a genius. You got the carbon monoxide to react. Just doing my job. What's so special about this valley then? Good question. Let me explain. If you want molecules to react, they've got to have enough energy. You've got to get them out of the ground state. It's only once you get them over the top of the valley that they'll react and become new products on the other side. You can just heat them up. But that doesn't work for all reactions. I do it differently, bringing the molecules together and showing them a different, easier route out of the valley. So you're like a tiny machine joining atoms together? I suppose I am. Are those catalysts over there? Yeah, they are the enzymes, nature's catalyst. They make all sorts of different reactions happen inside living cells. Enzymes do things like digesting food and are even used in washing powder to help clean clothes. What about those? They're solid catalysts like iron and platinum. They don't look anything like you. They work differently, catalyzing reactions along their surface. You can find solid catalysts in car exhaust where they make the waste gases less toxic. They look really shy. Well, they're great at speeding up reactions, but no one really knows how they do it. Taking pictures of solid catalysts in action is really difficult, so how they work remains a mystery. What sort of catalysts are you then? I am another type altogether. I dissolve into liquid just like salt dissolves into water. I catalyze reactions swimming about in the liquid. It's what makes CAT so special. Chemists can study the reaction to see how CAT joins the molecules together. 
they can then change Cap to make him a better catalyst. I love performing for the camera. Here we go again, say cheese. There we go, how was that? When Cat has made the new product, he resets ready to join more molecules together. Pretty cool, huh? I can keep this up all day. Chemists use these snapshots to figure out how to change the catalysts, making them work on new reactions to produce new useful products. Meet my new sister, Kit. She's a work in progress. Well, howdy. You can tell you're related. You look really similar. Kit's structure is designed to join two carbon monoxide molecules together. Wow, you're making a totally different molecule. The problem is I can't let go of what I've just made. A few more tweaks and you'll be catalyzing like a pro. Uh-oh, gotta go. Remember, if you want a reaction to start or speed up, you need a catalyst. Goodbye, Kat. Whoa, I had no idea. With Cat, I can recycle waste gases back into useful molecules. That's not all. Catalysts are fundamental to the manufacture of almost every product we use. And special catalysts like Cat are being created to reuse and recycle all sorts of waste. They can turn gases into things like medicines, fuel, and plastics, and even break down those plastics when they're no longer needed. I need to get one of those snazzy cameras. Will I ever see Kat again? Hopefully you will. Chemists at Imperial College London and at laboratories across the UK are working hard to perfect these new catalysts that will revolutionize industry and promise a more efficient and eco-friendly future. <laughs>